would we be able to distinguish a black hole from a wormhole if we discover it? Is there any chance that some of the black holes we have discovered are actually wormholes? And what would a wormhole look like? That's a very interesting question. So black holes and wormholes are very similar from an, for an external observer, at least from, from a distance. They both are extremely massive objects. They create extreme uh, distortions in space-time. They very strong gravitational fields. And, and that's why from a distance, a wormhole could very much look like a black hole. So a wormhole is essentially a, a hole in space-time. So in the three-dimensional world, a hole is a two-dimensional object, isn't it? A hole has two dimensions in our world. So in a four-dimensional world, in four-dimensional space-time, a, a hole would have three dimensions. So it would essentially, a wormhole would essentially be a spherical object. But unlike a black hole, which is completely dark or completely transparent, a wormhole would not, if you go, if you were to go close to a wormhole, it would actually, you would actually be able to look through it and see the other side of what's on the other side of the wormhole. Because a wormhole is essentially a tunnel that, uh, that connects two disparate regions of space-time. So if you were to find a wormhole and if you were to peer into it, you would be able to see what's on the other side of the wormhole in a, in a region of space-time that's really far away. So that's one difference. If you can go close, close enough, then you would see that there is something at the other end of the wormhole. If it were to be, if it were to be, uh, if it, it were, if it were to stay open for a long period of time, which would allow you to observe. The second thing is that the question is that is there any chance some of the black holes we have discovered are actually wormholes? That's a very interesting question. So a wormhole. Let's say you have a supermassive wormhole. Let's say that one of the uh, supermassive black holes at the center of a galaxy is actually a wormhole. Okay. So what would uh, what would the uh, phenomena be like around this wormhole? So essentially a wormhole, if it were to be a traversable wormhole, it means that matter can fall inside the wormhole, right? And because of the extreme gravitational field that a supermassive wormhole would have, that matter that falls inside would be accelerated to relativistic velocities, extremely high speeds a significant percentage of the speed of light. So it would be very, very, moving very fast, extremely fast. And matter from the other side of the tunnel would also be falling into the wormhole at extremely uh, high speeds. So it's there is a significant possibility that matter it is, that is falling inside from both the ends of the wormhole would actually collide in the throat of the wormhole. And this could give rise to enormous explosions inside which would spew matter outside again. So extremely highly energetic uh, gamma rays and radiation, etc., would come out of this wormhole. And we do see such phenomena. It's called quasars. Quasars are active galactic nuclei. Uh, what's believed is that these are supermassive black holes with an extremely uh, massive accretion disk around them. And it is the infalling matter of this accretion disk that causes all these extreme uh, jets to be spewed out of this black hole. And that's why it is so luminous. For example, a quasar would have a luminosity of several times, of several times the entire luminosity of our own galaxy, the Milky Way. So that's how luminous these quasars are. So if this was a wormhole in which matter is falling inside from both ends, then it could conceivably give rise to a similar phenomenon. So it is definitely possible that these quasars, these active galactic nuclei, may possibly be wormholes instead of black holes. It is certainly a possibility and it is a possibility that is, I think it is being taken quite seriously. So as of today, we don't, unless we have a wormhole nearby that we can actually go and observe, unless we have that, we can't really tell. But from the mathematics of the, the physics that we know, from the physics that we know, we it is quite it's quite clear that these are very similar objects, at least from a distance. But there are certain phenomena that we can predict, and if we can find signatures of those of those phenomena, for example, extremely energetic gamma rays, then it would indicate possibly that there's a wormhole there instead of a supermassive black hole.